Jenny? Oh, new perfume? I hardly recognized you. We've just met our first skunk. Mice in the kitchen, squirrels in the ceiling, snakes in the garden, and now this. Your family must be freaked. I knew Canada was full of wild animals, but I figured we'd be safe in the suburbs. You don't have any grizzly bears around here, do you, Jody? No, but we've got... Groundhogs, falcons, opossums, salamanders, frogs, toads, owls, raccoons, hawks, foxes, mink, turtles, coyotes, deer, pigeons, rats, ants, geese, dragonflies, chipmunks, worms, crows, rabbits, spiders, mosquitoes, moles, hornets, weasels. Okay, I got this one. The point is, is that just because our environment doesn't look wild to us, it doesn't mean it's not wild to other species. Wednesday, 11 p.m. We stake out my creepy backyard in search of the foul offender. All set? Check. Ready. What was that? A raccoon. Wow. The raccoon is among the most recognizable of Canada's urban wildlife. They get their name from the Algonquian word that means hand scratcher. In fact, raccoons' hands have thousands more nerve endings than ours. Combine this sense of feel with amazing intelligence, they're better problem solvers than dogs. There's shadows moving across my tent. Brown bats. That's so cool. Yeah. No, because I'm Chinese. <laughs> yeah, Jenny, it's so cool that you're Chinese. No, no, the bat is a sign of good luck. Look over our back door. That's the Wufu Chum, five bats circling the tree of life. Here's something else that Jody didn't know. I didn't know that individual cave colonies in Texas house more than 20 million bats. I did know that some bats are known to live as long as 35 years in Canada. Brown bats are insect eaters, great for keeping your yard free of biting bugs. Connor, shine your light beside the deck. Striped skunk. Bingo. If you knew her name, why didn't you just call her? Skunks are best known for their highly effective defense mechanism, a potent spray they can accurately fire up to six meters. Skunks are not aggressive animals. If you encounter one, it will likely try to run away. Before spraying, it will growl or hiss and stamp its front feet quickly. The greatest threats to skunks in urban Canada are cars and trucks. In the countryside, these animals are hunted by bobcats and various birds of prey, especially the great horned owl. Jen, there's something out there, something big. I think it's coming toward my tent. Rise and shine, oh brave and mighty one. Okay. So here's what we know. She lives under here because... Because it's safe, it's dark and dry. And quiet. What else? She likes to have her morning coffee on the deck? Close. There is a food source nearby. The garbage. And the compost pile. Yeah. So what do we need to do to make her move out? Dig her a five-star hole in Beverly Hills. No, not by making another place more attractive, but by making this place less attractive. Right! Okay, all set. My dad says this is the first time he's ever looked forward to hearing my music. Let's find out if the skunk is funky. How long will it take to drive her out? A day or two at the most. Then the trick will be to keep her out. 
and to consider the bigger question. How do we deal with all of this wildlife in our urban and suburban areas? Uh, appearing for humankind, Miss Jenny Wong. And uh, for the wild inhabitants, Mr. Connor Sims. Miss Wong, if you would begin, please. Thank you, Your Honor. As humans, we own this land and we object to being terrorized in our own homes by these, these animals. We just want to live in peace, but they torment us night and day. Raccoons wreak havoc in our yards. Deer decimate our gardens. Spiders, snakes, and bats scare us half to death. My job only half done then. Mr. Sims. Your Honor, my clients only understand one law, the law of nature. So perhaps Miss Wong will forgive them for failing to appreciate the fine points of human property ownership. Humans poison my clients with pesticides. They kill them by the thousands on highways. They continually destroy wildlife habitat and then complain when my clients move into theirs. Your Honor, Canada's wildlife accept that humans are part of the urban ecosystem. The problem is that humans do not accept wildlife. I find that the humans must try to coexist with wildlife. And here's a few simple ways you can do it. Control your pets by keeping them indoors, in a pen, or on a leash. When our pets encounter wild animals, it can be dangerous for both. Cats cause real trouble. In North America, free-roaming house cats kill millions of birds and small mammals each year. Wildlife is attracted to urban areas by the availability of food and shelter. We can cut down on conflicts between people and wildlife by doing things like storing and sealing our garbage properly and covering holes through which animals can get under and into our houses. Think about installing bird and bat houses to encourage natural pest control and counteract habitat loss. We've learned a few ways we can share the urban environment with wildlife. Visit Hinterland Who's Who online and tell us about your ideas. You'll find tons more on the website about how to live with the wildlife that surrounds us. And remember, no matter where you live in Canada, wildlife is close by, so get out and see it.